Hello ladies, so this week, this vlog newsletter is from my bed. I was really kicked down by a virus and I literally lost <clears throat> half of my neuron the last 48 hours. But I really didn't want to cancel this newsletter because something happened to me last week and I really wanted to share it with you. For the best practical advice and knowledge on how to heal from emotional abuse, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a video every Wednesday. So today, what is the connection between emotional abuse from parents, father figure, and modern love? Stay with me, the other answer. Last week, when working like crazy on this blog, I found myself watching the new TV series from Amazon named Modern Love. Please don't directly go and unsubscribe from this blog. I have few things less than really cheesy to tell you about this series. For the ones who don't know what this TV series is about, it is based on the weekly column published by the New York Times Real stories based on real people's life. And so in the middle of a two-hour session work on strategy about what I call my fourth baby, this blog, I find myself stopping everything which never happened and suddenly begin to cry endlessly. And I mean not to all three tears, I mean real water work and it didn't stop for hours now I'm not usually the crying chick like last time it happened to me was at least six months ago and I know I know people are for the most awfully pessimistic about our time social network repressing human contact egoism and individualism repressing wellness and genuine contribution to the people around us and then comes modern love first i saw it back to back all morning Shh, I, I i don't tell please don't tell anyone i'm supposed to be working from home second this series simply and magically capture the best of what our generation and even the last generation have to bring to the world. Yes, that optimistic I am today. Why? Because each one of those stories is showing a challenge where a sovereign, perfect human being is solving his own personal challenge by simply becoming a better version of him but by chasing his own truth and by not being afraid to live and making very imperfect choices. The very extreme mood, for example, of a bipolar that after suffering so much, losing jobs and friends and boyfriends, and suddenly decide to stop being ashamed and open up to an ex boss and friend, lead the way after a huge crash to showing a true colors and getting treatment and improving drastically, drastically your life and finally find a happiness. The unusual friendship between a doorman becoming a huge role model and a protector of a very bright single woman struggling with a love life who got pregnant and find herself alone facing this challenging event. And this he is here to advise, to love like a father, to be whatever she needs him to be, to be the best version of a human being he can be. But the story which really crushed me down and opens me up to a real internal dialogue with myself was the story about a young woman in her 20s struggling with that issue after her own dad passed away when she was 11. A father figure present itself under the character of a 50s so manager at work and begin a, a relationship with her. She is not afraid of telling him she wants 
by father figure in her life and is mistakenly pushing in the direction of a romantic relationship. Finally, it ordered the words she so desperately needed to hear that everything will be okay, that she is in a, an outstanding human being and that she is incredibly proud of her. Now, I didn't speak and meet my father for two decades. When I was 20, it was to protect myself. And when I was 30, it was to protect my husband and my children. At first, it was not a real decision. It was more of a survival reaction, a very primitive need to simply survive. To understand my decision, you have to understand who was my father. This is essential. He was extremely clever, a completely self-taught, with a huge general culture, totally irreverent and in the transgression. He was inconsistent and incredibly brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. He was able to talk to the garbage man and to the professor and challenge them, each one of them, at their own level. He transmit me his passion for books, for ideas and intellectual discussion. And he has in his eyes a sadness of men who are, full, who are not fulfilling their life. My father lose his life and family on two subjects. He was unable to respect the law and he had no emotion whatsoever. Yep, a very, very bad mix. So me, myself, and modern love will meet. So sorry, me, myself, modern love, and my father will meet, which is not a very good combination. Now, before he passed away at the autumn of 2017, I felt it intuitively that it was the end, that I had to make a choice, and to be honest, I was really fortunate to be working for the last decade with an outstanding therapist. She put me in front of those choices and I finally decided to not take the bait. I let him die without saying goodbye. To be honest, and I know a lot of people won't understand why I will tell you right now, I am totally at peace with this decision. Bringing him back into my life would have been bringing back a very serious disease into my life. And it was also polluting my children and the next generation. But still, those words, sentences I heard in modern love broke my heart. The same day I found myself at my therapist again crying. And she asked me, she asked me, why do you think for the first time in years you are listening to yourself and you are putting everything, and I mean time, money, and your story into this block of yours? And I look at her and begin to cry again. And she told me something that I will take with me for a very long time. People are answering their needs in different way. If those words are not coming from the person who is supposed to give you them, like a daddy dearest, you will search for other solutions, like giving back, helping others. What a beautiful healing alternative. Please comment below about a subject you are struggling with regarding your healing process and I will be happy to treat the subject on future videos. If you like this video, please let me know by liking it, subscribe and share it with your fellow ladies. If you find it helpful and even if not, please comment below and leave your feedback. It will help me take it into consideration and improve next time. Lady, enjoy your week and until Wednesday. Bye bye. <music>